Like I would automatically whip my head around and be like, who are you? And do you want my social security number, sir? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Aisha Renee. If you're looking for a safe space to talk about fashion, beauty, personal development, all that type of fun stuff, well, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time your girl posts, which I think you do. Who doesn't wanna know when I post, right? I'm gonna show you guys my perfume collection today just because I want to show you guys my perfume collection today. <laughs> I do not have like a YouTuber's perfume collection. I think I have a very normal, regular, regular perfume collection. So if you're someone who is not too well versed in perfumes and you'd like to start collecting, I feel like this would be a good place to start. I don't consider myself a perfume snob. I'm not going to throw tomatoes and rocks at you if you have Bath & Body Works perfume in your collection because quite frankly, I just don't care. I just like what smells good. I don't care if it costs $5, 500, well, I ain't buying no perfume for $500. I just care about the quality. Does it last long? Does it smell good? All that type of stuff. And I'd also like to use this video for myself just to see how far my perfume collection goes in the next year or two. So if you wanna see a very normal looking perfume collection, just keep on watching. Just in case you're wondering, my perfume taste tends to lean more towards the floral, fresh, and fruity side. I do have some outliers that don't exactly fit that scent profile. Okay, so here's a little Victoria's Secret rollerball I have. This is the Winter Bombshell Perfume. Okay, when it comes to Victoria's Secret, I don't know what is going on at Victoria's Secret headquarters, but I need to know why you guys got rid of the Scandalous Perfume. That was my favorite perfume ever for like years, okay? I used to buy that perfume and then one day it was just not available ever again. And I'm just trying to figure out what are we doing here? That has nothing to do with this, but I'm just saying. Original Bombshell, I do really like as well. I think I got this as a Christmas gift one year. It smells really good. I haven't used it in a while though, but I do bring this with me when I travel sometimes. It smells very sweet. It's very delicious smelling. I haven't bought a perfume from them in a while just because I haven't really shopped from them in a while. But if they were to ever bring back Scandalous, I don't know who's listening, but uh, the next perfume I have is a classic. This is Elizabeth Taylor Sparkling White Diamonds. This is the Eau de Toilette. This is the epitome of elegance. I don't care what anybody says. Y'all can call this old lady. Y'all can call this prehistoric. I call it excellence. <laughs> this is the perfect after shower scent. This will leave your soapy, clean body smelling, eat, like it's, this is literally a shower in a bottle. And even if you don't like the smell, are you telling me this is not the most beautiful bottle? The ladies back in the day just knew how to embody elegance and glamor in everything. Like, just look at this. I've always, ever since I was a kid, I've just always wanted to be like the most elegant elegant, glamorous lady of all time. I was first introduced to this scent when I was in high school. This one and Elizabeth Arden Red Door. Those are also scents that my mom used to wear when she was younger. I just, I love elegance. I don't care what you people say. You guys can diss the old lady perfumes. The only old lady perfume I, I, I will agree with is Chanel number no. five. We'll talk about her later, but this right here, just excellent. An excellent perfume. If you do not have this, you definitely need it. This is just a, the perfect going to bed, glamorous, elegant. I'm gonna waltz around in my house in a fluffy robe <laughs> and look beautiful while doing it. That's this type of perfume. So this was like my first perfume purchase from a high-end store. This is Ariana Grande Cloud. As you can see, it's almost done. This perfume is so funny because I go through love-hate stages with it. When I first got it, I really loved it. I love Ariana Grande, so I was rushing to get it just because I wanted to support her. And it smells good. It smells really good. It's super sweet. It's super sugary. People say it reminds them of Baccarat Rouge. In my opinion, they smell exactly identical. Some of the, the snobs will tell you it doesn't. It smells exactly the same. Um, I go through stages where I'm like, ugh, this is way too sugary sweet. I can't do this. This is like literally repulsive. I can't smell it. But recently, I don't know if it's because we're in the winter and like the weather's getting a little snugglier and colder. This smells kind of good in the winter. So I'm thinking this is a strictly winter scent only. Like I, for myself, would not wear this in the summer. It's just too, ugh, ugh, no, 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 no. This does not do well in the heat for me, 
for me. I don't know, ever since we've hit this cold winter season, I've been really gravitating toward this. I like to spray this before I go to bed. I would I would spray this perfume if you were like snuggling up with your partner and you wanted to just have a cozy chill night. Like this is that type of perfume. It's so weird because I literally used to not like this, but now I like it again. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I clearly liked it at some point because look at how much I used of it. Moving on to the next two perfumes in my collection, my best friend in the entire world, Lonnie got them for me for my birthday last year. This was like my main step stool into the perfume world because before I was just like, yeah, I'll buy one or two perfumes, that's it. Like I don't really need that much. But Lonnie introduced me to this entire world and she is the reason why my wallet is waiting to square up with me because all I do is buy perfume. This is Mugler Amy. Angel Nova, this perfume, oh, talk about fruity, fresh, floral excellence right here. This perfume right here is what launched me into this whole crazy, wacky world of perfume. This is so excellent. Like I can't even put into words. Let's just, we have to spray it. Oh my God. <laughs> I haven't worn this perfume in so long because to me, this is a summer perfume. I have like a really weird thing with my senses, like even with music sometimes, there are certain things in life where you can only listen to it or smell it or do whatever in the summer. And there's certain things you can only do in the winter. This is one of the perfumes I can only wear in the summer. I haven't smelled this perfume in months. This just reignited my love for this. It smells so fruity fresh, but it's not childish. It's like a grown woman fruity fresh. Another Mugler perfume I'm pining for so badly is the Mugler, um, I think it's Alien Goddess. I cannot wait to buy that perfume. The next perfume my bestie gifted me for my birthday last year was this Dior Attic perfume. This right here. This right here is vanilla done correctly. This smells so good. This does not smell like a headache. This does not smell like crayons on wall, kitty, candy, yum yum, no. This this smells delectable. This smells like a boss babe on her ish, ready to take over the world. And she's gonna smell delicious while doing it. This is black trench coat with nothing underneath showing up to your man's house like, what's up? What you trying to do? Like this is that type of scent, okay? These two are definitely perfumes I would rebuy whenever I run out of it. All right, moving on. So this is the original Jimmy Choo perfume. This one smells so good. I talk about this all the time. This is the perfect floral. Like this is textbook standard magazine insert. That is this perfume. Just think of a typical perfume from Macy's. That's what this smells like, okay? And that's no shade whatsoever. I don't care what your taste is. You're probably gonna end up liking this just because it's such a standard type of scent like it's I feel like it would be really hard for someone to not like this I mean unless you despise florals and that's okay but like this is so versatile this is work appropriate this is date appropriate this is going to the mall appropriate like whatever you doing wherever you going she is gonna get the job done. This is Calvin Klein Into You Her. This one is definitely strictly summer perfume for me. I cannot spray this in the winter at all. This is not a cold weather scent to me, to me. However, it still smells delicious. This is the perfect out of the shower, summer, fruity, fresh and fun scent type of perfume. Let's give it a smell. I haven't smelled this in a couple months too. Mmm, it literally smells like limes and oranges, like all the citrus fruits put into one. But it's also fresh, like you will absolutely love this when it's August or July and you just got home from a barbecue and now you're showering. You just wanna spray something on top to layer all the scents. You will absolutely love this. And then we have this perfume. This is Delice Nacre. I do not know how to pronounce this for the life of me, but look at this, okay? This is actually empty, but I just kept the bottle. This smells like straight up baby powder, laundry detergent, fresh, linen, cotton, beautiful, fresh, clean sheets, clean clothing. That's what this smells like. I will never not buy this perfume. I will always use this as a room spray. I will use this when I change my sheets and I wanna spray something on top. I will spray this on my clothes. I will spray this no matter what because this is literally, think of like the Glade air freshener, but it doesn't smell like air freshener. Like it's not too alcoholy. You just put it in this beautiful perfume bottle and that's what this smells like. Just absolute heaven. Fresh baby that just debuted out the womb. Like that is this perfume right here. I didn't realize, but this one is also one of the first big girl perfumes I ever bought. This one I got from Amazon. This is from the brand Swiss Arabian. And this is Oud. 
This is actually advertised as a unisex cologne. Now this bad boy right here, this bad boy right here, you have to spray either one half of a pump or one pump and you call it a day. Because me, I like to spray my perfumes. I'm not scared to waste. Like that's what I bought it for. I bought it to use it, so I'm gonna use it. This one though, you do not use more than two sprays because if you do, you're gonna offend everybody around you and it's not gonna be cute. But if you don't, everybody's gonna turn their head and look at you because you there's no way you're gonna be in a room with a person that has this perfume on and you're not gonna turn around and wonder what that smell is because it's so fragrant. Is that the word I'm looking for? It's very strong, but if you use it in the right way, it gets the job done. It's caramelly, it's praline-y, it's sweet, it's, it's spicy, it's loud, it's aggressive, but it's also soft. <sighs> like if a man were to smell like this, oh my God. I would automatically whip my head around and be like, who are you and do you want my social security number, sir? And here we have quite possibly one of my favorite perfumes of all time so far. This is Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. This is the perfect princessy floral. Oh my God, I can't even talk. Hold up, wait. Just buy this. Don't ask me no questions. Just buy this, okay? If you're a beginner and you're like, where do I start? This is where you start. This is where you start, right here. It's pretty, it's whimsical. It's magical, it's princessy, it's royal, it's delicate, it's sweet, it's soft, it's so, it's just so magical. Like this is how you do a floral scent. This is another perfume that I will always have in my perfume collection no matter what. Like this is just, I have to do, I have to do it again. Come on. <laughs> Come on, like. This is how you do a floral scent. What are you talking about? Another perfume that I will always have in my arsenal and has become my signature scent, Burberry Body. This right here. To be honest with you, these two smell very similar. This is the sparkling white diamonds that I showed you earlier. This one smells like a boss lady. This one also has that same like soapy powdery type of scent. And then you look at the bottle, like look at the bottle on top of that. Like you're gonna have this cute bottle on top of smelling so good. Thank you, I will take it, hello. It does have an old school quality to it, but it's also modernized in a sense. So you're not getting that like overly powder, powder, powder smell, but there is a strong powder note in this. It's just not offensive at all, at least to me. It smells very pretty and like strong. Not strong like it's too much strong, but strong like, oh, here she is. That type of strong. And next up we have Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. This has also been another scent that I've been gravitating towards this winter. It smells like gumdrops, candy, fun, laughter, but it's also a little like flirty and seductive also. Britney Spears is a perfume goat. Like I've been buying her scents ever since I was a child. If you're a sweet lover, you're definitely gonna like this. It's very whimsical. It's very fun. It's very fun and flirty. That's how I would describe this one. I really like it. Next up we have Rihanna Rebel Fleur. This one I got when I was in Vegas this summer. It was only $9.99 from Ross. Another perfect floral scent. Does not smell like I got this for $10. It smells like I got this from Sephora for $100. If you want to start a perfume collection, you also need to get this one. It's floral, it's sweet, it also kind of smells like cake. This one's like a pretty girl scent. Like if you want to smell like a pretty, beautiful, put together young lady, you will not be disappointed with this one either. We have a couple more left. So this next one is J Lux by Jennifer Lopez. If y'all ain't see that perfume haul, you need to see my reaction to this because I was absolutely floored, flabbergasted, confluxed, that's not a word, but I just made it up. And that's how I felt when I first smelled this. Warm, cashmere, winter, bossy, date night, sexy, Valentine's Day, that's what this is. If you wanna smell like a high end, seductress siren this is the perfume you need you do not need to break the bank to smell good you guys don't let these people on the internet make you feel bad for what perfumes you wear this is a perfume that yeah it's not expensive but you're gonna smell expensive and i truly mean that from the bottom of my heart you will smell important when you wear this perfume and i promise you that buy it and tell me i'm wrong then we have guest seductive noir i actually haven't worn this one a ton it's no wonder I haven't really worn it yet because it's not really something I would gravitate towards. So I think I might actually 
let go of this one. I'm just now realizing. It does smell good, but it's just not something I need in my collection. Like if I was gonna go for this type of like cashmere, warm, dark, seductive type of scent, I would just reach for the J-Lux. Like honestly, this is giving way more than this is. I do think I am gonna let this one go, but yeah, just showing you this one. All right, so these are the last two. This next one I have here is Chanel number no. five. Blue. If you are someone who is not into Chanel number no. five, try this one instead. I promise you, your whole perspective on this whole collection will change. This one smells really fresh and clean. This is like a really modern, fresh take on the original Chanel number no. five. It doesn't smell like Chanel number no. five at all, the original. It's very soapy clean. It's very flattering. You're not gonna have a headache. Honestly, this is one of those perfumes that I would find it really difficult for someone to not like. This would be another good fresh out of the shower type of fragrance. And the last fragrance I have here to show you is my most most recent purchase. This was actually a Christmas present I got for myself. I've been looking at this perfume for so many months. I've been waiting to buy it. I've been saving my money and I finally have it. This is the Giorgio Armani Si Passione. Oh, you guys. Oh. Talk about a chef's kiss. Right up my alley. It's very